All right, guys, so just got done with my poll day, and I finally was able to record it for you guys. Just want to explain the first part of it, and I'll be going through each part of our dog crab training regimen that we're doing right now. First of all, every poll day is not the same. We actually do three cycles, so the next time that we do our poll day, we're not going to do the same exercises as we did today, so I'll record that. And then the following workout will also not be the same. And then... Finally, after that, after the third cycle, we go back to this workout that we did today and we'll try to beat it. I recorded three of Alex's warm-up sets. We usually do three of them. And you just basically kind of want to feel out the weight. For me, since I'm just starting this, I'm kind of setting the bar for myself in each lift and I don't have necessarily an amount to beat, but Alex has been doing this for a little while, so he knew what he had to beat, so he knew what to kind of warm up to. But like I said, I'm I'm just kind of feeling out what I'm capable of. The first three sets are him doing a warm-up, and then we only recorded my last warm-up set, so the first set that I do is a warm-up, and then we get into our actual set that you want to keep between 6 and 12 reps. So I got 9 out of mine, and Alex got 10, I believe. And then you wait five minutes, you get five minutes rest, get nice and rested for your next set, and then you do your Widowmaker set. And that's a set that consists of 15 to 20 reps, and so Alex got 15 on his and I got 20. All right, so here's the deadlift sets, including warm-ups. Come on, baby. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. Fuck you, Justin. Oh. Oh. boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Three more. 
Let's do this. Come on. Widowmaker, 20 reps. Let's go, baby. 20 reps. Stand up. Keep it moving. Keep going. Keep your pace. Big breaths. Good. Almost there. Almost there. Five more. Four. Three. Two left. One more. Get it. There we go. That's a widow maker. For the next exercise, we do one arm dumbbell rows. And we actually only do one set, but it's a rest pause set. We take a weight that we could do anywhere from 6 to 12 reps, do a set to failure, and then wait about 15 seconds, do another set to failure and then wait 15 seconds and do another set to failure. So you can call it what you want, whether it's three sets or one set. I just look at it as one big rest pause set. So here are those. No. Come on, push. What a badass. Alright, so 15 seconds later. Rest pause, second set. 160 pounds. Beast mode, baby. Oh. Oh. And about 15 seconds later, last set. Third part of the rest pause. Come on. One thing I want to mention about those is always do your weaker side first. So in the video, it showed me doing my right side, which is my stronger side. So I had done my left side first, and then I just simply matched what I did on my left side with my right. Okay, so next we did one set to failure of lat pull down. And we also did additional negatives with this. As you'll see, uh, you have a spotter to help you get the weight down and then you fight the weight on the way up. We do that usually two to three times after the set. So it's just one super intense set.